While perfectly clear is designed to recognize important details in a photo and make adjustments automatically, some users want to apply it in a very targeted way. For example, maybe you want to select just one part of a photo, like a sky for manipulation, or only want to adjust the color of clothing your subject is wearing. By combining the power of Photoshop's selection tools and using Perfectly Clear as a smart filter, you can make precise adjustments. In this video, we'll build upon the skills covered in other training videos. It's recommended that you check out the other Photoshop and general adjustment videos to master Perfectly Clear, and then use these advanced Photoshop tips for greater control. Let's make a targeted, non-destructive adjustment. In other words, We'll select a particular area of a photo for adjustment and then apply perfectly clear in a way that's easy to tweak or modify. To start, open an image into Photoshop. Choose File Open and navigate to the file you want and click Open. Now let's work with perfectly clear in a non-destructive manner. This technique is done by converting a layer or image into a smart object. This can also be done by right-clicking on a layer and choosing Convert to Smart Object. You can also choose Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. Let's take precise control over adjusting areas in a file. Photoshop offers many selection tools, but let's try one of my favorites. Choose the Quick Selection tool. Now, drag over our subject to make a basic selection. Don't worry about being perfect you can hold down the Option or the Alt key to subtract from the selection. Once the subject is roughly selected, click the Select and Mask button in the toolbar. A new dialog opens. This allows you to refine the selection. Check the box for Smart Radius under Edge Detection. Drag the radius selection to improve the selection and create a gentler, more natural selection. You can also drag the Feather and Smooth sliders to create a more gradual transition between selected and deselected pixels. If you'd like, you can also click and paint on the preview image to touch up the selection. Be sure to try the Option and Alt key modifier as you paint as well. When the preview selection looks good, make sure the Output To menu has the option chosen for selection. Click OK to create an active selection. Now, let's apply Perfectly Clear just to the selected subject. Choose Filter, Athentec Imaging, Perfectly Clear Complete V3. The initial preview may show that the entire photo is selected. This is what's wanted. Due to the smart filter approach and the selection applied, we'll use a mask to hide parts of the adjusted photo. For this image, I'm going to enhance the sky. Let's use both the Color Restore and Color Vibrancy adjustments. The manual sky enhance controls may also help. Let's try a little tint correction to remove color cast from the clouds. That worked well. Remember, you can preview between the before and after states. These are in fact the two different views that are going to be mixed. When satisfied, click Apply. Notice that the perfectly clear effect is only applied to the sky. In the Layers panel, you'll see that a mask has been applied. The white areas are affected by the filter, and the black areas indicate where the original photo is showing through. If you'd like to refine this mix, you can click to make the mask active. Now, using a paintbrush, I can modify the mask. White adds to the mask, and black subtracts. You can also use a lower opacity brush or gray to blend the smart filter. Let's try another selection technique. To start, I'll nest this object inside of another smart object. This workflow allows me to apply a second independent instance of Perfectly Clear to the photo. Right click on the layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. Now let's optimize other areas of the photo. Choose Select Color Range. This command is very powerful. From the Select menu, choose Sample Colors and check the Localize Color Clusters box to limit the selection further. Now, click on the image or preview to make an initial selection. Use the Shift key to add to this selection and the Option or Alt key to subtract. The white pixels will be affected and the black ones ignored. 
you can also use the range and fuzziness sliders to refine. When satisfied, click OK. Now, let's apply the second instance of Perfectly Clear to the image. Choose Filter, Athentech Imaging, Perfectly Clear Complete V3. Let's try an outdoor preset and adjust a few of the sliders to refine. The image looks a lot better. When satisfied, click Apply. Only the targeted pixels have been adjusted. If you decide you want to further modify the image, you can select the mask and just double click. You can now choose to reuse the color range command. You can also revisit any of the paintbrush techniques you learned earlier. To modify the filter, just double click its name. If you want to modify the first instance, that's simple too. Just double click the layer to open the smart object. When done making adjustments, close and save to update the file. While it may take a few tries to wrap your head around this nested approach, it offers a tremendous amount of control. Think of it as a series of wrapped boxes, one inside of each other. At any point in time, even after closing and saving the file, you can modify the smart filter, modify the selection, or access your original pixels. Be sure to watch the movie Non-Destructive Editing with Perfectly Clear in Photoshop, as well as some of our other tutorials to master more advanced workflows. Precise selections, masking controls, and flexible smart filters offer a great non-destructive workflow and are also great reasons to make the jump from Lightroom to Adobe Photoshop.